Alrighty guys, welcome back. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna create our form so we can log in. We're gonna create something just kinda like this. You know, enter your username and then password and then a login button. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, navigation can stay there. Let's, no, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna take out our, both of our tables on our left hand side of this page. And I'm going to create an a ref tag equal to our faculty.php page. Faculty.php. And we'll just call this return to menu. Go ahead and close. Oh, sorry about that. Close that out. Missing an A. There it is. Okay, everyone's happy. Okay. Okay, let's look at this. We don't want to add new info. We want to add go to faculty users. So I'm going to take from here, from this closing break tag, down to closing div tag right there. And so here's our opening um, table cell. Here's our closing table cell tag. I'm just going to grab all of this stuff in our uh, main div tag, and I'm just going to pull it out and we're just gonna build something new. And I'll start from there. And let's consolidate this or refactor this a little bit. And I think I'm just gonna type the code and then paste it in here. And then I'll walk you through it because it's gonna take like six or seven minutes. That's the last thing I wanna do is put you guys through another seven minute video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. You guys are gonna have no idea. All right guys, so here's the form that I just created. I got my H2 tags uh, right below our div tag of main. Under here, we're testing for uh, pretty much errors just to see if somebody did not add something or if they're trying to submit something that doesn't have a value. Uh, pretty much the same uh, if statement we have been using to catch errors on our other pages. Form action, new underscore fact dot PHP. Nope, new underscore fact. Faculty, not frequently asked question. Method, table, table row, table cell, username, input type, text, username, max length, 30 characters, echo, username. HTML entities is a great form of security, so nobody can add in uh, pretty much HTML tag structure inside your login and your, no one could type in um, like bold, Whoa, ch bold, because that, oh my God. So that this would work uh, if you did not have HTML entities in your database, it would just mess things up. So HTML entities is a great way to keep people just from adding uh, numbers and the alphabet into your uh, login, your forms. So let's keep it going. Close table row, open table row, table row. Table cell, password, password type, max length, 30. Again, we're using HTML entities, same thing we used up here. Close out our table cell, close out our table row, and we're gonna create our button right here, our submit button with create user, and uh, our closing table cell, closing table row, closing table, closing table, opening table, closing form, opening form, closing table, uh, cell opening table cell right here with our main and back up here we created in our navigation box our faculty.php with our return to menu links so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video make sure you guys have all of this right there and let's go back here let's type it in new underscore fact.php and this should work. There it is, looks pretty good. In our navigation, we have return to menu right there. Is this a link? Yes, it is. Create user, yada, yada, yada. Okay guys, so good luck with this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck.